Sagittarius family. How are you? I'm Iris and I am here to do your monthly spiritual guidance reading for the month of March 2019. And I say spiritual family because I am a Sagittarius sun. And so I'm really excited to see the messages um, that are coming through here today. So I read my cards intuitively so that I can deliver messages that are for your highest good um, that will help you move forward on your path. But having said that, not all of the messages that I receive are for everybody. So if there's something in this reading that doesn't resonate with you, that's perfectly okay, because then it's not for you. And um, so let's get started. So in the interest of saving time, I have pre-shuffled, I've premeditated, and I have allowed three cards to come through that represent kind of where you're at leaving February, coming in to March. And what I have for you is between worlds, imagination in reverse, and observer. And so what this is telling me is that you have been doing a lot of work on transitioning um, your life from one way of being and you are definitely becoming very stable in a new way of being. So you're kind of between worlds or you have wor been working at moving between worlds. And, but every once in a while, you're, you're shrouded with a little bit of that, that old kind of um, darker, you know, as you move from, from the darkness into the light, so to speak, that every once in a while that, that creeps up for you, but I feel that you have been doing a really, really good job because you have stepped outside of your way of being and you've done a lot of inner work and you've also um, stepped out is, is what I'm seeing, like stepped out and kind of now you're looking at your world from a different perspective and it has shown you um, something new. You've learned something new about your, yourself, how you interact with people in your life. And, how, and you have a level of understanding of why things have played out in your life the way that you have. So you've done a lot of work is is already not and not just in February you know this this work I feel um, has started long before um, February and you know I'm going to say that it, it started last last year and has been kind of ongoing for for a while <laughs> and, and cards are just kind of coming everywhere so that's just too many to deal with. So, so that it, there's been a lot of work that you've done and that you will continue to do. Although, because of the work that you've done, things are lining up for you as a result. So, and that's really great news. So, let's see what is happening for you in March. What is happening? There we are. What is happening? What is happening for Sagittarius in March? Okay, so we have the two of winter, <laughs> which speaks of indecision, holding yourself back, um, making a choice, you know, decisions, nothing, nothing that is, is 
pressing and needs to happen right away. But as you have been transitioning between um, who you were and who you ha have become, there, oh, holy cow, okay. Cards have fallen all over the place. Okay. Okay. So there, there are some decisions, right? Like as we, we've had a life that was always one way, we have learned a new way of being from this observer card and um, things that worked in the past and were okay in the past no longer serve you. And those those are <laughs> those are the choices and decisions that we need to, that need to be made as we transition between that. And sometimes we can feel trapped in in making a decision because we have um, although things aren't really horrible, you know, do they serve our highest good as we move move forward? in life, you know, and this is not a decision about, you know, I haven't worn this top in, you know, since it was given to me, do I need to, is it okay for me to give it away because, you know, a bestie bought it for you, you know, five years ago, that type of thing, right? I, I feel like these decisions are, um, they're, they're a little bit deeper seated and they, they have some emotion um, behind it. Um, and next to it is the justice card. So this talks about, about fairness. Something legal as well. And I'm going to ask for further clarification, um, on this particular card. And then we had the four of winter underneath the observer, which is really interesting because, you know, as we're, as we're taking that time to gain a different perspective and see things from, from a different lens, other than our, our own personal lens based on our own experiences, we have to do that, right? We have to take time to go within and take time to, to rest. And that falls underneath the observer. And then also, what came out was the five of spring, which talks about, um, you know, there's, there's two little elves fighting, <laughs> fighting there. It's such a cute card, even though that they're, they're, they're fighting. Um, I find it to be a, a kind of a cute card because it reminds me of just, you know, two young boys that are, that are fighting it out. But this is about feeling, feeling at odds with yourself, feeling at odds with, with others. Um, I feel that you're very ambitious as well, and that might not be sitting so well with other people in your life. We'll see how this goes. It has something to do with this, with this justice card. But before I ask for clarification on, on justice, this card here, which is the Ace of Winter, this talks about um, overcoming challenges. Um, and I'm just, I'm hearing you're bigger than your challenges. You are stronger than your challenges. So perhaps, you know, this has something to do with, with the justice card. I'm going to find out here in a minute. But you know, there is, there is this star. Okay. You see that star there? And there's that, that Siberian tiger there. The star is, you know, this, this fairy has, she has a, she has an idea. She has a dream, you know, and she has, um, a lot of strength, not only within herself, but around her that is going to support um, that star and and that dream. There's ideas, ideas swirling around as well. But I think that there is some conflict as a result of that. 
So let's just see. I, I want to get clarification on justice. Okay, why is the justice card uh, juggling multiple? Uh, huh. Okay, yep, there we go. It, this has something to do with new ideas and giving birth to new new ideas. Uh huh. I think that I think that that the justice card doesn't necess doesn't represent. Um, doesn't represent a legal thing. I I feel that it has to do with the ambitions and and the goals that you have for yourself and the justice being more about balance and and things working out as opposed to needing to go through the judicial system because the empress here is has given birth to a new idea that is is perhaps causing some unrest and perhaps disdain with some people around you because I think that you're getting very busy. And although you can handle it, perhaps there's people around you who aren't liking how much time you're investing away from them so that you can handle all of the things that are coming in for you as a result of this this new this new growth um, that's that's happening for you. That's what I think. That's about. Yeah, and because you've got this this little this little conflict thing going on. And the card of challenges and, you know, aces like ones are, are new beginnings, right? Like these are new, new ideas. And I think that it's, you know, um, ruffling, not, not ruffling feathers, but I mean, it could be ruffling feathers, right? Because change, change is, um, in as much change is hard for us, change when we change the people around us are influenced by that change, which causes them to change and grow as well. And they can either go, yeah, but I like the way things are, or they go, okay, well, this is new. Let's see where this goes. So that's, that's kind of the difference. I do feel that this has to do with other people or another person in your life. And maybe you feel like you just need a vacation. <laughs> I know I could use a vacation. Okay, let's see what the guidance is for the next steps on how to move through your next, your next phase, which is about, you know, uh, letting go of... Um, you know, things that just aren't working, moving through the conflict so that what your idea that you have already birthed and, and has actually grown sprouts, right? Sprouts, the little, little pea pods in there, they've already sprouted. They're not, they're not, oops, they're not full grown, but they're getting there. <laughs> okay. This is a very cool card. Okay. The Four of Autumn. This is about self-identity, right? As we move between who we were to into who we are becoming, we have to realign our own perception or see ourselves in a different in a different way, right? So in this card here, there's this is, you know, would be a queen and this might be a pauper, for example. And if you're looking in the mirror and you're not seeing yourself, you're seeing, you're still seeing the person that you, that you used to be. This is about encouraging you to realign with who you have become. I hope that makes sense because you already have become that new person. You've already done, you've already done that work that's what that between worlds is for you you've already done the work and you have already become that that person that new person 
now it's a matter of aligning yourself <laughs> by making different decisions and choices and that could be about even like um habits you know maybe um maybe taking better care of your health um, maybe becoming vegetarian because that supports who you have become right it, it it could be it could be things like that so it's like your next step is to step into now who you have become because you are now that person you've done the work you've done the work what else what else is next steps for Sagittarius for March 2019 okay have patience you know be patient with yourself you know contemplate plan your next steps mm hmm so as you know as you're realigning and readjusting to who you are um, make plans for the next steps because you've still got this that, that has been already planted. Like you got a lot of ideas. I should stop shaking though. It's hard to see. You've got a lot of ideas, new ideas and new inspiration and, and new, new dreams, right? And in as much as they might be causing a little bit of conflict um, with opposing goals, right? You can still plan your next step and take action um, on your next step. Because here you are, you know, I wouldn't say that you are at the very, very beginning of your journey because you've already, you know, you've already planted those seeds and it's already started to sprout. But as you move more in alignment with who you have become, this road of newness has opened up for you and you have the magic and the the strength and the um and the ability to um to move towards a new dream that you have and that tiger right that tiger there they've got your back that might be a person it just might be your own inner strength. You can you can do this, right? So the the message for what to do next, next steps is align yourself, let go of things, habits that don't support your your growth. Could be people, could be habits, could be old patterns of thought. It could be the people that you surround yourself. Because remember, this one was leaking in of, of old lack mentality and fear and worry that, that has been uh, leaking in. And incidentally, as we transition through this part in our lives, and, and everybody transitions um, through this, they're either going to go with the flow or, you know, life happens to them to cause them to grow and that's that's much more more painful and 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 I don't like to see anybody um experience that but it does happen so you know as we as we move through and we um acclimate to a, a new level of of consciousness and awareness about you know who we are and what we're here to do um you know Sometimes doubts, fears, and insecurities um, do seep in, but we are able to catch it and go, uh, yeah, no, that's the, that's old, that's old, right? So as you step into this, plan your next steps, you know, make a plan, give some thought to that, and, um, and set out on your new path. Set out on your new path um, with, with confidence, with confidence. Sagittarius, what an amazing reading for you. Um, if you were like me, 
you've done a lot of work and this has really been a work in progress. And as I was shuffling the cards, um, you are, uh, when above, I've got two more um, signs to do. So I've been reading all day. And as I was shuffling and meditating um, on Sagittarius, I, I felt this happy, just happy, happy from the inside out and happy to be free is what I, what I hear. I, I, I hear free and, and freedom and ready for the next step. And, uh, and I am so happy for you. You've done a tremendous amount of work, um, inner work, and you are now, you're ready. You're ready for the next step in your life. So go fearlessly. <laughs> go fearlessly. Yeah, you got this. If you like this video, please subscribe and uh, hit the like button and the little bell to be notified when I upload more videos. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, um, I've left all of the contact details below this video. And I am sending you so much love and light and happiness and joy as you move through the month of March and beyond. And until next time, blessings and we'll see you for April. Bye.